Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your message for July 2021. Let's get started with the reading. The first card is of the Language of Flower deck, and you got Lenten Rose, Protection. Conserve what you have, save a little. Pisces, in other words, practice gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. This beautiful plant offers you protection. The energy of the Lenten Rose is of protective nature. You will not be harmed if you conserve a little. If you are conscious about spending, you can save even when there is less. Some of you may go through restrictive times. The promise here, Pisces, is that you will have enough. Conserve what you have. Know that this is temporary and will not last forever. The next card is of the Surrender deck. And you got Surrender the habit of people-pleasing. If there are many siblings around you, they all may make different demands on you in order to make them happy and to avoid conflict, you may often please them with what they want. And this behavior may go beyond siblings with friends and colleagues as well. This card implies it is time to surrender this habit, to speak up and to be true to yourself. Don't allow others to take advantage of you. Set boundaries. The next card is The thinking man. Pisces, this could be a wise and kind teacher about to appearing in your life. It could literally have to do with crystals and stones because some of you have a career or a hobby in connection to minerals and this person will educate you in this regard. Maybe some of you consider learning how to facet stones. Of course, stones also are used for spiritual or healing purposes. It is an ancient practice working with crystals for energy work. It is also an ancient practice to include precious or semi-precious stones in handmade jewelry. Another possibility is rock hunting. Whatever it is you plan to do with rocks and minerals, this person shares worthwhile knowledge that serves you well. Even if you currently have a small budget, you may want to consider to take a course for one of the specific interests. It is an excellent investment in the long run. Number 46, 4 plus 6 is 10 is a 1 that indicates that you will embark on a new path.
the next card is happiness. Pisces is a path that will lead to happiness and your transformation as we see from this butterfly. By now you know that happiness comes from within. The key to happiness is to experience joy. And the invitation here is to focus on the positive only. Pisces, look upwards for inspiration. Connect with your guides. The universe is on your side in full support of you. With this card's energy, a great joy is in arrival for you. The next card is King of Wands. This is a person of great uh, integrity who is successful, be it with a creative endeavor and or finances. Pisces, do you have a creative vein? Are you artistic? Are you planning to go into business with somebody of a fiery nature? Somebody who is motivational, inspiring, ambitious, has a leadership role, is in the spotlight. Like them, you are convinced and capable to make new ideas come into fruition. And people will be inspired by you as a role model in business or in your community. The thinking man and you work together. He is already well established and you follow his lead. There's a lot of art visible in this image from, from wooden carvings to jewelry to puris. It is definitely in the field of design, speaking of art, or in the field of creativity, where you will find fulfillment. The next card is individuality. Pisces, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. And do you see the similarity of colors in the happiness card? They're very much the same colors and cards have the same radiance. With the individuality card, Pisces, you are advised to conserve your individuality so that you will be able to leave your loving energy on everything create you do even if you have a business partner this card is inviting you to be you only you maintain your individual style for that your work will be recognized even if you work together with somebody else. You have this amazing gift to 
impress love in everything you do. It's a love frequency, a quality you will achieve this month after your transformation. Again, the butterfly. Just know that when you were in the state of people-pleasing, you erased your individuality. The moment you surrender this habit and set healthy boundaries, your individuality will re-emerge. The next card and the last card is by Danielle Laporte, Truth Bombs and You Got. You are the expert on you. Yes, you are Pisces. You expertly know yourself. You know your unique talents and gifts and qualities that you have. You are on your individual journey and others are on theirs. This card is also a reminder to remain humble, Pisces, to remain humble on your journey, no matter how much recognition you may come across in your life. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know at the bottom in the comment area what your thoughts are. And please subscribe and like my videos. I see you again in August.